Hiya, Renee Jones here from Pack Your Own Bag. So there's that moment when you stop following a diet, whether you've reached your goal or not. Or maybe you just need a break, or maybe you've reached your goal and feel pretty confident in knowing your best combination to maintain the loss. Great. Well, now it's transition time. My goal weight was always three to five pounds lower than where I wanted to settle because I wanted to give room for that gain after the reintroduction of foods, you know, with that, yeah. Reintroducing is a nice way to put it. It sounds managed and well controlled, but it seldom was. I might do well for a day or a week, but at some point there was a moment of, oh, just a taste of this. One serving won't hurt. It's just one meal. It's just one day. It's just one week. The emotional needs or that feeling of deprivation or extra hunger starts driving the bus. And there are so many choices. We say it's about feeling free around food. We're able to try anything and I've lost so much weight. I can have this. And yet it becomes a feeding frenzy. A feeding frenzy is when you cannot regain control to make the choices you said you wanted to make. A food frenzy is not food freedom. It's just a different kind of prison. Real food freedom is being able to choose whether or not to have that food without feeling deprived or without fixating on it. It doesn't take willpower or bargaining or planning to say no. You're able to choose and are comfortable with the choice. So how do you get there? Some can do it with intuitive eating. They've healed enough and taken back control of food rather than letting the food and the emotional stuff control them. And now they feel comfortable trusting their bodies, both with the choices and with the results. Many have stopped even worrying about the cultural demands for the skinny stick size and settle at a natural weight for their bodies. They're no longer driven to food for their needs so they can maintain. Some focus on working through what drives them to food for comfort or stress relief. That was my key. I had to take the driver's seat again and I used the mantra, face your stuff, don't stuff your face, to remember to recognize what was going on for me when I was trying to stuff down my feelings and then followed it with a food chaser. <clears throat> I faced the feelings, the memories, and the blocks, and I got free. Some get away from processed food or taste higher quality foods, and their taste buds recalibrate. I used to love anything chocolate. I couldn't leave out one of those candy bowls because I'd take a piece or two every time I passed by it. Then someone gave me some high quality dark chocolate and suddenly the stuff we buy in value or variety packs couldn't compete. If you take the time to taste them and find you don't like them, it's pretty easy to say no. It made me wonder what else I'd been eating that I hadn't tasted in years. We get there by challenging what we've done in the past and making different choices by slowing down enough to taste and evaluate foods by facing our stuff so we no longer need to stuff our faces for comfort and stress relief. It takes effort and practice, but that is food freedom. If you'd like to have a chat, don't hesitate to contact me. All the best.